In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 5, verses 28 through to 30. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. This is only a short reading, but there is much to meditate upon. The first part is to do with judgment. As it says, do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. To those who have done good, it means the resurrection of life, which is heaven. To those who have done evil, it will be to the resurrection of condemnation and hell. But this very last verse may be a bit confusing to some people. That's why I urge you all to pray to the Holy Spirit that you can understand what is being said. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous. Because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Keeping in mind that Jesus, the Son of God, is both human and, both, and divine, the second person of the, of the Blessed Trinity. He is human and is divine. When we read here, because I do not seek my own will, Jesus is referring to his human will. We humans have the right to refuse what is asked of us by God. Same as Jesus. Just think for a moment, and it'll be coming up soon, will be in our readings. It is commonly known as the agony, agony in the garden. After the Last Supper, Jesus and, and some of the disciples go into the, the garden where Jesus then prays. He's in agony because he knows what is about to happen. He's human. He feels the pain, the anxiety. And he prays to God the Father to take this cup away, this cup of agony. Not my will, but yours, he says. 
And so we read here with regards to the judgment, the day of judgment. I can of myself, I can of myself do nothing. As man, he can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous. And this is the key words. Because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. That very last verse. That is all that Jesus seeks. To do the will of the Father who sent him. may be confusing keeping in mind Jesus is very much human he is God yes but he is human the incarnation he is both man and God There are two elements, one human and one divine. Can you imagine the battle that must go on? The human side and the divine side. I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent him. This is a very good scripture reading for us all to contemplate during Great Lent. <clears throat> Talks about judgment. Those who have done good, those who have done evil. The good will be the resurrection of life. Life in heaven. Those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation to hell. I urge you all during this great Lent to pray, to fast, focus in on the teachings of Jesus and the scriptures understand what Jesus is teaching us pray constantly pray to the Holy Spirit that when you read these scripture readings when you read the Bible he will help you understand what is being said I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. <coughs>